What is up, YouTube? Faros here with another episode of our Final Fantasy XI Red Mage Let's Play. Today, well, first off, we're, I want to show you guys, I'm level 99 Red Mage, sub-level 49 Ninja. We got to the level cap, we got ourselves a melee set. Uh, it's not the best in the world, I just scrounged up some auction house ge gear, I got some haste, I got some strength, I got some attack, I got some physical damage reduction, I'm all set up to be skilling up these two swords but these two swords are not enough and that's what we're working on today are mog trial swords which is this little dinky thing for now I've already done two trials um, and some of you might not know what the trials are they're relatively new I think the this game started having trials in the last year or two so it's kinda new um but yeah so we'll get into exactly what they are how they work everything about them uh, but it's one of the things that I think a lot of people do at 99 if you're serious about the job you're playing. They take a lot of work. If you're not serious about the job you're playing or you're still kind of unsure about them, uh, it, it's not it's not something you might want to invest the time into. But I'll walk you through exactly what trial weapons are today. So first things first, if you want to know where to start these things, they are in Rulud Gardens. You can start them in the back by our buddy Matt. So we're in the back of Rulud, and they put these Moogles back here. And there's a lot of different things you could do with Moogles. There's there's Moogle trial little necklaces that get you the jo job amounts that are super easy, that you can do at like level 30 on any job. There's the trial weapons that I'm doing, and, and then there's trial armor. Now the weapons. Let's take a quick second on this. You see, if you look at the Soul Saber I have equipped right now, uh, looks like a normal janky sword. It's level 75. It has no real stats on it. It's not good. The trials are you start with the level 75 weapon and you do a series of super grindy quests with it. Kill X amount of mobs on certain day or certain weather. And you go from quest to quest to quest to quest and the weapon levels up. It goes from 75 to 75 with like shitty stats to 75 with less shitty stats to 80 to 85 to 90 to 95 all the way up to 99 where it can be a really good weapon with really good skill i'm gonna link in the description below the sword i'm going for i'm gonna be eventually going for two of these swords they both have physical damage reduction minus 11 percent and you can get two of them now unfortunately if you're dual wielding swords like i am you cannot do two of the same sword trial at the same time so i'm gonna have to run through all of this twice but at the end of the day, I can have minus 22% physical damage reduction just off my weapons alone. And you see there's Red Mage Mail now, this Duck Scale Mail, that has it on all the gear. It's a level 99 set. I'll be rocking minus 30% physical damage reduction. Notorious Monsters will be doing, you know, two-thirds damage to me. It's going to be amazing. So that's those are the swords I'm going for for now. I'll link the wiki or the Final Fantasy Clopedia article that goes over all the sword trials and this once that specifically I'm doing so you guys can see uh, you can sort of follow along and maybe that'll help you understand how this works so if you want to start your own trial you come and you talk to this Moogle um, he'll tell you some stuff about Mog trials you know it's all good uh, he'll walk you through it you can review trials list available trials and things like that so then what you want to do is you'll want to look on the wiki first or Final Fantasy Clopedia find out what end weapon you want because there's a lot of different end weapons you can get all different elements I'm getting the earth trial sword there's a water trial sword fire trial blah 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 trial you know whole, all the elements plus there's like relic trials and you know uh, way other crazy stuff so find out which one you want then you're gonna open this left chest you're going to open the left chest, you're going to, there's all these starter weapons here. You see, my first trial, I started with a side sword. It's level 75 sword, has no stats. You take the side sword in hand, I'm going to leave it. Uh, let's say you wanted to do hand-to-hand -hand trials, you'd pick up these pugilists. Well, you would probably pick up the pugilists, but there's other hand-to-hand -hand weapons in here. That's why it's important you find the weapon you want to end with first. You find your end objective first, and then you backtrack to where you need to start. Because you can start in multiple places, and you can end in multiple places, like I said. So, you'll find the correct starter weapon in this chest. Then you will take that weapon, and you will trade it to the Moogle. And this applies every single step of the way. Like, what I'm going to do right now is 
well first I have to unequip the weapon but um I'm gonna trade the weapon to him that I'm on so I can get to the next step so and when you trade him the weapon you get another little interaction with him oh it's a soul saber I see and you see I've got one two three four different trials I can undertake right now they're all gonna lead different ways so it's very 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 important I pick the correct one because I don't think you can go back ever he even asks you are you sure you want to do this so I'm double checking my tab I got open on the other page right now I need trial 197 I select that he's like just a moment let me run some calculations yeah start with a soul saver turn into a different soul saver um, it says the previous trial was 190, that's correct, and the next one it goes into is 198, that's correct. So I hit end confirmation, if all the information looks correct, he goes, are you absolutely positively sure you want to undertake trial 197? Yes. So you guys got to do a little research on this, it's important you don't mess up. But it's, it's mad easy research to do, like I said. I'll link you guys the pages so you can see, there's nice little charts that show how everything uh, chains together. So, he gives you a key item that shows you how you're progressing uh, throughout the trial. And he's going to shoot some stars at me. <laughs> and I get with the trial uh, inscribed upon my soul saver. So, when I equip the soul saver, you see it's going to say on it, trial 197. That's how you know you have the quest active. If your weapon doesn't say that, uh, you don't have it active. You, you need to trade it back to the guy and make sure you get it. Okay, so how do these trials actually work? Uh, I'll take a quick minute here to explain this before I get out and show you guys some fighting. But the trials, again, the ones I'm doing anyway, the element ones, are like kill, you know, 50, kill 50 leeches uh, under weather or something like that. That was my first trial. Now, each leech kill counted as five for some reason. So I really, because they nerfed it, I think, I really only had to kill 10 leeches under like any weather effect. That was the first one. It was mad easy. This one I'm on now, I have to kill. I have to get 50 kill points under on any kind of mob so it's not just leeches I have to get 50 kill points under any kind of mob uh, on earth stay though it has to be on earth stay that's like the that's the stipulation since it's since I'm going down earth trials now so yeah on earth's day or under earth's weather I think yeah so I'm gonna have to do that I think the best place to do that is quicksand caves so I'm gonna be heading there right now but that's kinda how it works man um, the other stipulations on the quest are you you must have your item equipped which kinda sucks because as I told you the, the item kinda sucks so it's not so bad for me because I'm dual wield and I have spells it's actually not bad for red mage at all for you two hand users I don't know man how you do it but it, it the mobs that you're killing are often pretty easy so you've got that going for you um, it, the mobs have to be at least easy prey though. They have to yield experience points. That's the other stipulation. You have to have your weapon equipped, your trial weapon, you have to be using it, and you have to kill mobs that yield experience to get credit for the quest. And, you know, obey the actual quest stipulations like must be earth weather or earth state. So what we're going to do now, I've been rambling way too long. You guys probably want to see some action, but I wanted to give you guys all the details on trial weapons because when I first started playing again, I was really confused, you know, I didn't, I didn't get how this worked, I was lost, so I didn't even attempt it on my monk. And I, I still haven't, to be honest, I'm just going to do it on Red Mage, because my monk has really good auction house weapons, you know? Like the brawny Adargus, they're so good, man. So I don't even really need a weapon on monks, since I'm not planning on, you know, like making it my main job. I want Red Mage to be my main job, so I'm doing the trials on him. So, yeah, but I don't want you guys to, I wanted to give you guys all the information so you're like, oh, this is mad easy, I can do this, because it gives you some of the best weapons at level 99, as far as I know. Uh, everybody does this stuff. So, yeah, I'm going to get a teleport, I'll Teppa, we're going to head over to Quicksand Caves, and I'm going to see you guys there. Alrighty, welcome back, YouTube. You see, we're in the Quicksand Caves here. I went ahead and zoned into Entrance 4 on the uh, Western Altepa Desert map. Uh, so if you guys check out that map, that's where I came in. It is double earth weather right now. I got all my buffs up and quest or trial, excuse me, trial 197 says I can kill any kind of mob. It just has to be under earth weather or earth day, I believe. So we're just going to kill some sand lizards. You see, if I slash check them here, uh, they check as easy prey. So they're probably going to drop pretty fast. Uh, 
But we're just gonna take him out, man. I'm just gonna melee him down. My refresh just... Oh, I forgot to put up composure before I put on all my buffs. So they're gonna drop rather quickly. Composure, uh, a new red mage ability, I think. You see, I never played red mage in the past, you guys. So I'm not entirely sure what's new and what's not. But I, I never heard of... I never heard of Composure, Saboteur, Spontaneity, like, those are godlike abilities. Spontaneity, you can pretty much instant cast any spell you want. Next target, next spell you cast is instant cast. That's a cool ability. Your stone skin drops, you instant cast stone skin. Sick. Saboteur, um, increases the duration and effect of your next enfeebling magic. Composure makes your buffs last longer, but the recast is longer, but that doesn't matter because they last so much longer than you got your typical convert and chain spell. So look at the chat. It says trial 197, 45 objectives remain. You see, we needed 50 points total. If you look at the quest, we got five points for killing that one lizard. Um, I, I don't know why they do it like that. It's a little misleading, but in total, you're just, if for this trial, I'm gonna have to kill 10 of any kind of monster under earth weather. The guide said quicksand caves was the best place to go for this because there's earth weather here a lot. I mean, there's double earth right now, so. Uh, yeah, it's got to be here quite a bit. I'm going to pull two lizards. It doesn't matter. It, you think I'm scared of you, you little lizards? Bruh! Little lizards? I ain't scared. I mean, my skills are low. I got so much skill enough to do, you guys. What are, you, what are lizards weak to, I wonder? I forget what lizards are weak to. I honestly do. I bet it's air. If they're earth element... I mean, it's probably air, right? We gonna try to give him a little arrow? You wanna give him a little arrow? Arrow, what do I got? Three, I only got arrow three. Tier four nukes are expensive? I'm gonna be farming them soon. That wasn't that much. Let's try some blizzard. Maybe that was a partial resist. I don't know. Oh, freezing them a little bit? All right, we'll, we'll go back to melee. Blizzard did a little more. I love that I got those different sets, man, and I can just bounce between melee, nuking, healing. Oh, man, red mage. So much fun. So much fun. So I'm not going to show this whole trial on tape. Uh, 40 objectives remain. We got another five points for that one. But this is how it works, man. These are your earth element uh trials now the element weapon trials they all work like this i think you have to do something on a certain day or a certain weather condition and you got to go kill normal mobs and you do that pretty much all the way up until the very end the very end i'll show you guys something you're turning in these items let me go to the bottom of my mog sack here mog sack so useful by the way 80 free inventory slots you can use anywhere it's 80 for me because my inventory is 80 but the last tier of a uh, quest, you're turning in these soil geodes and titanites uh, for the earth element. So it's pretty much, it just costs money if you don't have them all farmed up already. And that's for every element. You'll turn in your respective stones. But um, that's for all the element ones. So you kill a bunch of mobs on certain conditions and then turn in those stones. And that's it. That, that's how you get the 99 weapon as far as I know, unless I'm missing something, you know? Um... There's other kinds of weapons so you can get though, like the, I think there's relic weapon trials where you go into Dynamis and kill notorious monsters. And I think those, wow, we got a coffer key. I think those start out by killing notorious monsters. Like, like I know there's trials where you just camp a notorious monster like five or ten times or something. Like, it's a notorious monster that spawns, you know, every hour or something like that. You just camp it over and over and over again, and that's how you get your credit for your quest. Now, that's something I would actually really like doing, because I love killing notorious monsters. I love that, man. That is my shit. That was my favorite thing to do in Final Fantasy XI, was camp notorious monsters. But, um, I just really wanted these physical damage reduction swords i wanted them so bad aberrant dynamo uses them i think shout outs again as always to aberrant dynamo man i learned so much just from watching that guy's videos and he's actually a really cool guy talked to me in messages a couple times uh as always link to his channel will be in the description below if you guys want to check out a true red mage god <laughs> but um yeah he uses them for his solos it's just so much damage reduction so much so i gotta i gotta stick with these element trials for now uh if i get into a different job you know Maybe if these trials are still good next expansion, I'll, uh, I'll I'll try it on Geomancer or something. Because Geomancer sounds cool. There's two new jobs coming in the next expansion. Those of you guys don't know. There's Rune Fencer, uh, which is, is is a great sword main job, uh, but it's it's like a crazy tank. It sounds crazy. And then there's Geomancer, and I think Geomancer is another support class. 
I'm not entirely sure, but I want to try it, man, because Geomancers are always pretty badass. All right, we got more credits for that. Now, I wonder if I can kill Antikins. This is probably the last kill I'll have for this video. Yes, you guys don't want to just watch me do this all day, but... I wonder if I can kill Antikins and get credit, because they're not exactly beasts. I think they're beast men, aren't they? I don't know. But either way, it's about to eat some THUNDER! <laughs> that didn't look like it did too much. What else we got? Um, oh, We got some water 3 for you. Let's, let's try water out. I, I'm oh okay, that did nothing. That was probably a resist. I don't know what these guys are weak to, man. And normally, I would tab out. I would tab out to my second monitor and check their weakness, but I think Fraps messes up when I do that. Oh, I don't have, um, I don't have Aqua Veil up, so he interrupted that spell. Uh, it's all good. It's all good. I'm gonna shine and blade your dumbass. <laughs> Let's go. Um, what else? What other evil things do we want to do to this guy? He's trying to charge on us spitting at us man disrespectful disrespectful let's give him some more thunder let's give thunder another shot because i just like thunder man that that's my element i think i talked about that in other videos but that that's what i love to do get out of here antikin oh if you and oh i'm so mad i am so mad that he just interrupted me you know when when mobs do shit like that i just want to chain spell and instant cast right at him like i hardly use chain spell anyway two hours or one hour cooldown now like right now why not just show them who's boss so i did get credit for that um, <laughs> you can't kill literally any kind of mob is for trial 197 anyway we're talking specifically about this trial i'm on uh for the sword but yeah this third trial was pretty easy um yeah i just wanted to show you guys how this worked for those of you who are like man you know i don't really know how the Majin Megan mog trials work you know i'm kind of a little nervous getting back into it this is how they work man easy peasy lemon squeezy be sure you check out what kind of end weapon you want to end with first so you know where you need to start and you know what kind of trials you're going to be getting yourself into i think the elemental ones are easily soloable all the way up the, like the relic ones and the other kind of ones where you're killing like even like the empyrean the abyssy ones i think those can get very difficult and are, are like not so soloable soloable so keep that in mind do a little research investigate for yourself um i wish you guys the best of luck this has been faros from ragnarok server uh if you guys like the final fantasy videos give this video a like uh if you want to see some more subscribe to my channel i will be uploading final fantasy 11 videos regularly I'm super hyped for the next expansion seekers of adulin and i hope to see you guys all in the future so until next time this has been faros peace